Isaac. Today will be our last day admiring the beauty of nature together. Yeah, because tomorrow will be my first day working in the city. I wonder when we'll be able to spend time like this again. Hmm, I'm sure you will miss this place. Well, besides missing me, of course. Haha, <laughs> you're funny, Grandpa. Hey, I'm serious. Things are going to be different out there. What do you mean? Take a look at our small, nice village, with its beautiful nature. Hmm. Example. Look at the river. It is clean and blue. You mean out there? I'll never get to see clean rivers like this. I doubt so. People are now polluting them. The rivers are polluted. Yeah, they should have saved the planet. Grandpa, tell me more about pollution. Well, in 1920s, I was working as a fisherman. Any signs of a big catch? Seems like a no to me. Joseph, take a look at that. A dead fish, Jacob. There's more over there. Holy cow! What caused this? Let's find the source. Bingo! I think I found it. There. What on earth is that? Well, it's a pipe. I know. It releases toxic chemicals. Toxic? Yeah, toxic. When toxic chemicals are released directly into the river, the water becomes poisonous because of the presence of hydrogen ions. And oxygen levels are depleted, thus causing aquatic organisms to die. Exactly. Grandpa, there is a serious problem. As the fishes were intoxicated, it must have affected your life as a fisherman. I'm glad your mind is working now. Haha, <laughs> thanks. So, did you do anything about it? We had to. Otherwise, more and more marine creatures would suffer. And so, we tracked down the pipe to its source. And guess what? What? The chemicals were produced by a small dying factory. Just a small factory, and yet it could kill many fishes. Precisely. Just imagine what leading factories are capable of. Pfft. Very irresponsible. Therefore, both of us went to see the factory manager. We told him how we ended up in his office. We complained about the pollution his factory has created. Until at one moment. We were discussing on how to save the innocent marine lives. Come on, people! Think of a solution. I wonder who the manager is now. We must save the planet. I feel guilty for what my factory has done. Your factory? Um, I mean me myself. <laughs> Aha! I have an idea. What? what? Mr. Solomon, from the pH scale, your factory gives off solutions with pH less than seven. I know, that is acidic, right? But those are unwanted chemicals. That's the reason we let them off to the rivers. Isn't there any better ideas, Jacob? Hey, I haven't presented my idea yet. Haha, <laughs> so what's your idea then? Since the chemical is acidic, why not we treat it before discharging it? Neutralization! Oh, acids are neutralized in the presence of alkali. Exactly! When acid and alkali react, hydrogen ions from the acid and hydroxide ions from the alkali combine together to form water. As a result, the chemicals are harmless, which then it will be much safer to the marine lives. True. And the most important thing is... What? Joseph and I 
can continue fishing. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we waiting for? Let's save this planet. <laughs> Wow, that was an amazing story, Grandpa. Thanks, Isaac. Now you know that your grandpa was once a hero. Haha, <laughs> yeah, so amazing. Mm-hmm.